Okay, so the learning outcome number eight is discuss how social or cultural factors affect one cognitive process. Now, what we're going to be doing with this document is we're talking about a social factor, which is video games, and the cognitive process, which is visual attention. Okay, and so this is all based off an article, a journal article by Hubert Wallander, Green and Bavalier. Now, I wouldn't be opposed to you guys just citing Green and Bavalier on this because they're a little bit easier to remember. But basically what we're going to be talking about is how some video games, specifically Halo, Call of Duty, Unreal Tournament, um, basically games that demand really... Uh, intense spatial attention and divided attention where you're dividing your attention among a lot of different um, stimuli. These games that involve aiming and shooting at the center of the screen while also tracking and paying attention to enemies and periphery which is the sides around around the sides of the screen for new threats. Okay, And how these games can improve your ability to pay attention. So basically um, let's see, the first uh, task that we'll be looking at is, a, is distributing attentional resources throughout the visual field. So here you notice that you're obviously shooting the gun, but you need to see these people around here, what is this thing up here, what's over here, being able to pay attention throughout your visual field. Now this study by Hubert Wallander, Green and Bavalier, uh, basically talked about this useful field of view task. Basically being able to identify what is useful in your field of view. And so basically they had participants locate small targets among distractions on a screen and they found that habitual action video game play significantly improved the performance on these useful field of view tasks without costing them their central vision. So this suggests that they're better at multitasking. An interesting uh, point here would be that girls performed worse than males before training, but they closed that gap, which means that they equaled the boys within about 10 hours of training. So this shows us that girls can be at risk for underperforming um, on spatial attention ta tasks or tests um, if they're not controlled by gender for video game play. Um, so girls may benefit the most from these types of trainings. Um, because this uh, learning outcome is discuss, obviously we want to talk about interesting points, but also howevers, right? Uh, Boot et al., so another researcher who did some research, they got the same results, but they were not significant. And when your results aren't significant, um, you know that they're not really Im that important unless they're kind of um, disproving something, okay? And so they're saying that the results were not replicable, okay? Not reliable. However, there's a however to the however, um, Boots' experiment was not really carefully controlled and they didn't really distinguish um, the amount of action game playing um, and they talked kind of about a lot of game playing, but anywhere over seven hours, and they said any video game. So in Boots' study, they didn't distinguish between Halo, Call of Duty, and then something like Super Mario Brothers, okay? So Boots' study doesn't hold a lot of weight, but it is, it is a study that kind of goes against it. Now, one other uh, counter-argument that could explain the results of the study, but without kind of attributing them to better attention, would be that maybe the results, maybe they were better at, um, where does it say? Maybe they were better at improved performance on this uh, useful field of view and at dividing their attentional resources. Maybe they were better simply because they have more effective motor execution. Maybe their hands are just faster at pressing buttons or post-decisional processes. Maybe they have a really good reaction time. So maybe it's not how they're distributing their attention on the screen, but maybe after that, maybe they pay attention the same, but their hands are faster or their reaction times are faster. Um, but they do say that this is unlikely because they tried to control for it. However, more research is definitely necessary.